Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we are going to do something with this tonight. Whether she's a brown mouse or a bunny or whatever she is, we are gonna craft with her tonight. Um, I guess I need to get her tag out of the garbage. Y'all come on in and say hello. I don't know where I pulled the stick out of her. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Y'all come on in and say hello. We're gonna make up for last night. Because I felt terrible last night. Hello, everybody. Hey, Nancy. Hello. Hello, my friends. Y'all come on in and say hello. Miss Little Iris is here. <laughs> we're going to do something with her. Hey, Elizabeth. Hello, Brenda. So, I'm gonna, we're going to do something with her and with this. And I'm going to let y'all help me decide what to do. Because I'm torn between what to do. Hey, Kathy. Hello, Shirley. Hello, Jamie. Y'all notice anything different? <laughs> hey, Darlene. Hello, Patty. Y'all come on in. Hello, Vicky. I'm like, did I put lips on? I think I did. Hello, Angela. Y'all come on in because y'all got to help me decide which of these we're going to use. Hey, Carol. Hello, Melinda and Kathleen. And did y'all see the new stuff? While everybody's hopping on, I'll show it to y'all. That is in my shop. Yay! You've been anxiously awaiting. Hello, Jane. Hello, Nancy. Y'all, it does not get any cuter than this. I did. I got a bunch of hair cut off, and I got my hair colored, and I was having, like, this huge allergy attack yesterday, and my hairdresser, she felt bad for me. <laughs> she was, like, giving me the whole roll of toilet paper because I was sneezing so bad. Um, yes, I got like several inches cut off of it, and it feels so much better. Um, hey, Connie. Hello, Lori. Look how cute this is. That's what I just released in my shop was this sign. And um, I don't knock everything down. Here is the frog. So stinking cute. I'm, well, I cannot wait to paint these. And here's the bee gnomes. <laughs> Nice. So they got the bee gnomes. Here is the girl. And where's the boy? Where is he? Oh no, he's missing in action. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Thank y'all for my, my, my hair. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, these are going to be adorable. She's so cute. See, there's her little wings on the back. Yay! You went to watch your last night replay. Tina, I wasn't live because I was having my allergies were raging yesterday. I went and took uh I took two Benadryl and I was down for the count. I was I felt so bad. <clears throat> um, you know, it just makes you miserable. And I had to go to my regular family doctor today and she told me, Hey Shaney. <laughs> the frog. Um, she told me that yesterday was a real high pollen day and because um, she watches it for because her daughter has bad allergies and I was like, well, I could have told you that too because I was so bad. But look how cute. See all the little pieces are and it stands up. It's so stinking adorable. Um, so these are in my shop and you can comment shop TTV and all together and it'll give you a link in your inbox and take you right there. Yeah, my hair, I got it whacked off. Um, Thank you, Linda. I just needed some cut. And then she cut me some, like, I have a long bang kind of like, but I can just kind of do to the side. <laughs> but, you know, I end up doing this anyway. <laughs> um, did you see something? I missed that. Hey, Jill. Hey, Gwen. But look at these little guys, y'all. They're so cute. Uh, and I have to glue them all together so I can stand them up so y'all can see them. Most everything that has to be stood up. And y'all, these mushrooms, oh, I cannot wait to paint them. Um, they're so adorable. I can see them in some really cool colors. And then, of course, there's little bees. Ah, bees. And they go in like the gumball machine, you know, a canister. Or you can just use them to craft with. But there's a beehive as well. And it matches these bees. Um, these bees. <laughs> How funny is that? What else was it I was going to show you? Oh, yeah. And I, I forgot in the first post, I forgot to put on my bee, my little bee bugs. Aren't they cute? Hey, Mel. Hey, Melinda. 
Terry put shop TTV, like the turquoise valentine. Yes, Judy, I will. Now my hair looks like yours. I just got it cut off. Um, but look at the little bees, y'all. I love these bees. And y'all know this color is in the shop too. And so are these colors. If you want some magnets. Um, I want to cover my refrigerator with them. <laughs> my husband's like, no. <laughs> we don't need all these bugs on the refrigerator. I have them a couple on the side. But the pastels and then the beachy colors. Um, I know. I love, I love this. And it's going to look so cute painted. There's Mr. Frog. Of course, these are already glued together because I have to take pictures. And so, you can't get the full effect of it if it's not actually standing up. So, and then, I think that's it. <laughs> I'm trying to, um, thank you, Lee. <clears throat> hey, Joy. Okay, so, the great debate about Miss Iris. Michaels says she is a mouse, but I say, um, Brenda, they're little, the little glass pebbles that you put in um, that you can get. They're flat on one side. That's what they are. And I did them in my dotting group. You put yours on the refrigerator. Judy, do shop TTV and it will send you a link in your inbox. Yes, I need to do that with Charlie's pictures. I have a digital frame though. I have two actually, but, um, in my kitchen, I have one and then I have one out here, but, um, that has pictures that are rolling and most of it's her, of course. Um, yay, just ordered the bee gnomes. They're so cute. Thank you, Corby. Hey, Cindy. Okay, so Michael's, you know, I asked, okay, so what happened was I was live in my subscription group and I would show y'all what that was, but it's inside, but this is what the box was this month, but imagine it's all painted and I got, I was showing them what I got at Michael's. <clears throat> and so I got this at Michael's and she was a pick. She had like a little wire where you could stick her in a plant or something. And of course, and sh her legs were straight and I bent them so she could sit down. Um, <laughs> um, and that, that's what I'm getting to. We're fixing to talk about what, what I'm going to make. Okay. So, uh, so we, I was like, yeah, I think this is a rabbit. And they were like, no, 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 it's a mouse. And some people were like, no, it's a rabbit. No, it's a mouse. And they're like, well, ask the page what the page thinks it is. So I did. I put the post up and put a picture and said, hey, is this a mouse or a rabbit? I think it's a rabbit. It's Easter time. She was in the Easter section. Her tag said Easter. So I said it was a rabbit. Uh, so we all say it's a mouse. Michaels calls this a mouse. Um, yes, Liz, they are so bad this time of the year, but... Um, so I think it's a rabbit and I even put blush in her ears because she didn't come that way. But I had to put blush in her ears because I was like, this is a cute little rabbit. Hey, Sue. And so, um, I was like, she can hold flowers. She can do all kinds of things. So now I want to craft with her, but her name is Iris. We named her Iris. I was going to do Violet, but somebody said Iris. So I was like, okay, it's going to be Iris. So... Y'all can help me what I want to do. I've thrifted these, um, this whole set. I actually have the creamer that, I mean, the sugar bowl that goes with this too. I got it at the Goodwill Bins. Uh, here is the, the sugar bowl. How cute is this? So cute. I couldn't leave it behind if I was going to get the creamer. Um, so I just sat it there. And I mean, I, I paid literally like 25 cents, 50 cents for these. There is a chip right here, but I'm not too concerned with that. I know. I, I just don't know. Her face is like a mouse, but her ears look like a rabbit. <laughs> so, anyway, I know, Laurie, mouses, they, mouses, mices have little round ears, and she has, like, rabbit ears, so I don't know. Um, anyway, she's cute. Whatever she is, she's really cute. So, I had to buy her and bring her home because she was whispering to me, take me home. I want to go home. Uh, yeah, no, no tail. So, yeah. Anyway, so... <clears throat> she's from Michael's, but anyway, so this is what I want to do, and we're going to do two crafts tonight because this one's not going to take long at all. I actually had to run to Dollar Tree because I had no floral foam <laughs> a little bit ago. Um, I did. I found the whole set, and they had a whole bunch more, Katie, but I didn't get the whole the, the whole thing. Um, so here's my thought. 
Okay, so y'all tell me what y'all like. This is the creamer, so I was gonna put florals in here and then let and glue her to the little to the handle like this. So this is option one. Because my idea was was to do it on a teacup. Okay. But the handle's not really big and she don't have a lot of room to sit. So then I said, well, I'll get this creamer. Um, it's a mambit. <laughs> Connie, this came from TJ Maxx like months ago. Um, she's a hybrid. Yeah, she's a mouse rabbit. <laughs> so anyway, so I, I said, well, I'll put her here and I'll put florals in here. Because this is a really pretty pattern. It's got real pretty little dainty flowers on it. Um, hey, Lynn. Hey, Brenda. It looks like a rabbit to me. No tail Ira. So, you know, she's, she's whatever she wants to be, I guess. So then I got the idea. Um... Can't believe I didn't have them in my stash, <laughs> right? Okay, the, uh, then the next idea I had was, what if I turned it on its side like this? Because I've seen like bird feeders done this way and glued it down, okay? And had florals coming out and she could just sit right up right up here like this on the top. Um, that was my other idea. So I don't know, a mouse peeking out of the sugar bowl, like like. I could put her in the creamer and she could just, she could just hang. <laughs> she looks cute just like that. She could just hang out just like that. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Oh, she went back down in there. Um, anyway, sit her on the saucer. Well, her legs are going to hang off like that. So if I set it down, I mean, I guess I could, I could position her like this and she could sit over here. Um... Lisa, your mother had this set of dishes. So you like the cup on its side. I think it's cute like this. And what I'll do is I'll E6000 it to the plate, but I'll put hot glue too. So that way it'll hold it now and hold it later. I did hear that about Joann's, but I didn't, they didn't think they were going to close. Say anything about closing. Um, so anyway, Iris is not wanting to pay attention. Get with the program. Okay. So um, I like it like this too, because... This is just kind of, eh, I mean, it's cute, but not probably, you know, I like the cup here, but then we can decide, depending on the flowers, whether she needs to go over here, I mean, I could do it, I could do it like this, and she could sit on the handle, I don't know, like this. Oh, Sandy got all three, thank you for supporting my small business, um, I like the cup and so I think I think it's a it's a um <laughs> Linda. <laughs> um it's Corby. Okay, so the chat bot thing is like if if um if you type in exclamation notify. I had a thing with only all one word, it's gonna notify you when I go live the next time. And so that's a chat bot. And so I guess it comes with those rules and I didn't even know that was that was there. Okay. Okay, let's do, okay, everybody has voted for the laying down cup, so that's what we're going to do. So, that will be another day's project. Uh, Judy, she came from Michael's. I think it's a rabbit. Michael's calls it a mouse because somebody in my group actually pulled up the pic on the website, and it says mouse. And so, <laughs> she's a mouse. But she came like this, and she had a metal pick coming out, you know, like where you would stick her down in a plant or some flowers. And so I'm trying to get her head to go down this way. Um, but, and she is really cute. She's like felt like wool or something. I don't know. She's really cute. Searched on Michael's and they described it as a mouse. I know, right? I, I don't know, but it's stinking adorable. And she wanted to come home with me and they have a couple that's got more colored dresses. I think maybe it was yellow and blue. I think her, the dress color. Tina. <laughs> oh, then I could do all three pieces. Okay. So, <clears throat> I don't, I'm not really wild about this. Should I do it up or down? First time I got before I could comment. 
Yeah, so if you type that exclamation notify all together, it will, it will let you know um, when I go live next time. It'll like send you a notification. It's something that Facebook has set up and I got it all set up, but I don't know about the chat rules. I don't know, just, just X out of that. <laughs> okay, put it down, okay. That helps me. So, I'm trying to think, should I put my styrofoam in there first? I probably should. Okay, handle to the side. Okay, yeah. See, everybody, everybody's in agreement tonight. We are doing good, good, good. Everybody's in agreement for the most part. <laughs> handle down, handle down, handle down. On the side, not up, yes. Now, you could, I have seen bird feeders like this. Have y'all seen bird feeders this way? where they glue the cup and the saucer like this, and then they hang it like this, and they put bird seed in it. Now, I have seen those, but it would be cute if you wanted to hang it, but I'm scared to death I'm going to break it before I even get to do anything. I did. I did get my hair cut. I got several inches cut off of it. I was just like, just cut it. It'll grow back. Um, so, I think I am going to do it down like this, but I'm gonna put my my floral in there first, I think. And this is the stuff we don't like to hear when we get it when we cut it. Where is my my kitchen knife? So anyway, so I'm gonna we're gonna do another craft after this. Okay, so I'm gonna hold your ears. It's just like ugh like it's almost like cutting toast but it sounds way worse all right one more or two <laughs> mm, it's painful painful nope do it this way Maybe if I do it fast it won't be as bad okay this stuff makes a mess when you cut it. Y'all know. Two bird feeders. Oh, yeah, two bird feeders made like this. That's cool. I just I need to make me one. All right, go down in there. So, this is going to be really quick. So, that's why I was like, I'm going to do something else. Watching from your car. Oh, you love my haircut? It feels better. It, it actually feels a lot better. I feel like it doesn't weigh me down as much because I have a lot of hair and it's really super 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 straight I have like little boy hair um you I do too Lindy it's like <laughs> holding a little daisy and I have some daisies too okay so I'm thinking maybe I should glue it last but it's gonna be like this. So cute. Oh, I know, they sell, um, people, they love to sell those real pretty sets. And I have a pretty set that my aunt gave me and the teacups, the teacups are not out here, but this is what they look like. And the teacups are in the house because they didn't make it when I moved out here. They're still in that room. But I love these and I did not want to use um, my aunt's teacups that she gave me. So I went to the thrift store. Thank you, Lisa. Hey, Sylvia. Okay. So I'm thinking I have all this floral over here. Because when I was thinking about doing this, I was like, well, this isn't going to be very much to do. So we're going to do something else. Teapots. Oh, and they glue the spoon and it looks like it's floating in the air. Yes. I've never done that craft, and I guess I need to try it. So, when I went to Michael's the other day, I got her, and she has a purple dress. And I got these purple things, and these purple things, and these purple things. I was like, it's a purple kind of day over here at Michael's. Um, I do feel better. I just, last night, I, I was down for the count. I took me some Benadryl, and I was like, I'm, I'm just going to bed. <clears throat> see I got daisies when I get to that point it's like I just got to go to bed and um, 
you think you've seen this? It says on the bottom, Sango, it says Majesty Collection, China. So that's the, if y'all want to see it up close. So anyway. $20 in a box. Michaels, yes. Sick all day, had a bad hate, and just felt blah. Oh, Sherry, I hope you feel better. So now I've just got to decide. I'm going to put purple, but I'm not going to put all purple. Some of these florals have come from Dollar Tree. Some of them, who knows where. I pick, just pick off of them. So I'm just going to start somehow poking this in here. I was thinking this earlier. I'm like, how am I going to get these in here? But I'm going to use my little ever, fa ever faithful, hold on, my little po pokey tool, as I call it. <laughs> you have that dish, this dish set? That's so funny. I thought it was like my china, but it's not the same. Hey, Gracie. Um, this is why I didn't get regular styrofoam, because now I'm kind of thinking I should have. Now, look. What's happening? Okay. I thought my little thing <laughs> came out for a second there. I'll cut the end off of these. So I'm just going to poke them in there. Woo! Y'all. Oh, this is not working. How about this? Nope. This. Y'all are going in this styrofoam, I hate to tell you. But you are. This is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So now we gotta think this is gonna be laying on its side. <laughs> you have your mom's dishes, you've been crafting with them? Well, good, that way you can kind of put them out and use them for something instead of being in a cabinet. Okay, so I gotta keep thinking that it's gonna be laying on its side. I've got greenery, I've got flowers. So let's poke some greenery in here. And of course we gotta have moss. Oh, this is not, this is not a, an easy task. Maybe if I poked a hole and stuck it in a hole. Let's try that. Oh, that's a, that would be upside down. Not as easy as it looks. Look. <laughs> this is not easy. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot more simple than this. But it won't. I can't get it, like, to push down in there. All right, there's that one. So I'm just going to poke some random stuff in there. Uh, purples, let's see. Did I, I thought I cut off some of this. Maybe I didn't. I'm not holding my tongue right. Exactly. That's probably the problem, Mary. And I will. Y'all catch me doing it probably. I'll um, stick my tongue out. Let me poke a hole. All right, poking the hole definitely works better. All right, so there's what I got. Uh-oh, something's wrong with Kim. Put glue in it and blew it in. I don't know. I'm trying to find. Let's do some of this pink. This is pretty. Oh, something happened with Kim and I missed what it was. Hey, Susie. All right. Poke a hole, stick it in there, poke a hole, I think the hole method is working better, and then maybe I need some glue on some of them, right. it doesn't work unless you plug it up. But it's okay. It'll get hot in a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I unplugged it because I'll I'll use my light for something else and I'll leave the leave it on and I forget because it's on like a a power strip and I have a real bad habit of um leaving it on so I unplug the glue gun when I know I'm not gonna use it and it's not on. Okay, so there's one way or something that's the way it's gonna be. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Um, daisies, maybe? We'll put a couple of these. I love these little daisies. I think these came from uh, Michael's as well, but I think I got them last year. I love Michael's florals. I sh did y'all see that video that I posted of the that wall that they have of all those florals? I love that. I think it's so pretty. And I walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty and it's all by color and I just absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. Okay, there's my daisies. So see, I'm just kind of filling it up, however which way it's gonna be. Doesn't really matter, I guess. And I got all kinds of flowers over here. So let's do this. Yeah, the daisies are cute because they're so small. They're little bitty. Where'd it go? I cut it and I lost it. I guess I cut it. We'll just cut another one. I don't know where it went. Oh, you're going to paint it with your granddaughter. That's going to be so sweet. That'll be fun. I just love painting them, but look how cute. So, hmm. So y'all just uh, get out your little florals and y'all probably have a teacup. Or if you don't, you can go to Goodwill or a thrift store and I'm sure you can definitely find a teacup. And little Miss Iris came from Michael's, but you could, if you have something else or um, another kind of little critter that you have. Susan, Michael's calls her a mouse, but I don't know. <laughs> I think she looks like a rabbit. But the on the website, she's a mouse. I love all of their minis too. Beverly, no, I really wasn't making it for Charlie. I'm just making it for me because I wanted to put Iris on something because she insisted on coming home with me the other day. So I, I said, well, she's got to have her own little her own little, um, I don't know if that's too tall. <laughs> she got to have her own little sanctuary thing that she's, her little dealio that she is. Now, cut that down. Let's see what else I need. I got blue, but they're kind of big. See, I just picked from my stems. Y'all see, they're all, they're all gone. That's kind of big, though. What if I... Okay, I can cut it and take some of them off. And I'll have a little bit of blue. Right here. So, see, some of them will come off. Some little something. And I'll, we'll have a blue one. Because I love that blue. I think it's really pretty. Okay. Now, you got to get with the program, too. Now, here we go. Just that little, that little pop of blue there. Look how pretty it's looking. I did, see I got my hair cut and it feels so much better. I feel better today. Yesterday was I'm in my little hairdresser. She felt so bad for me. She was like, oh my gosh, it's terrible. Yeah, I added the pink to her ears with my little blush. She needs her own space. And she's gonna look cute up on her little, um, her little floral uh, garden we got going on with her teacup. I'm just cutting all these little thingy bobbers off the bottom so I can have something to stick down in there. Okay, so this is some purple. This is like, I think this is lavender. Pick. That's all it says. But I think that's lavender. But Michael's has all their stuff on sale. 
like their florals and their Easter stuff, all that's on sale. And um, I think they're, the florals are like 60% off, the spring ones. I'm like, dang, they're trying to rush this all along, aren't they? They'll be having out Christmas at, at Hobby Lobby before too much longer, right? <laughs> I'm like, dang. I hadn't been to Hobby Lobby in a while, but when I go the next time, I guarantee you they'll be having Christmas out. And I'm going to have a panic attack. Like, oh my gosh. Okay. So here's what we got. It looks cute just like this. <laughs> oh, the little mini cabbage. I didn't get it. I didn't see a mini cabbage, actually. But, um... Oh, that's sweet. Going to see your granddaughters. Um, but I didn't see any mini cabbages. But I sure would have got one because I think it'd be cute in something like with rabbits or something like that cutting let's do this one it's got two on it that's actually part of the wire they do rush on everything yeah they'll have back to school stuff out next week um at walmart when the easter and all that's over with they'll be um putting all that out again it's like jeez, they can't we can't enjoy one holiday without it starting the next and i just i feel so rushed i don't know about y'all but i do i feel rushed oh so you're getting yours cut off tomorrow <laughs> sometimes you just need to i don't know you just need to change it up a little bit and my hair is super straight and so it doesn't do anything um, so there is, look how cute this is. Um, oh yeah, it'll be red, white, and blue for, for, um, Memorial Day. All right, I'm just trying to see, all right, this has got to be shorter. More of these little thingy bobbers off. make it shorter I'm trying to get it to where I don't have to put moss up in there because I don't know how I'm gonna get moss all around all that okay I need this I need this some green somehow here maybe it's hot enough to where I can go put some glue on it. It's getting there. <laughs> can you do your magic on decorating a lantern showing how to attach the top? A lantern. I'm, I'm confused about a lantern. <laughs> the other side was patriotic. Well, Dollar Tree today, when, when I went in there to get this foam, they had still St. Patrick's Day stuff. And I was like, well, that was Sunday. Okay, so there are my flowers. So I think I need to put it on its side. I just need to decide which side, like which way. Okay, I think it looks better like this. So it's gonna be like this. And then I need to like glue some out here, I think, on the plate. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, so this will be the fun part. It's getting this sucker glued down. Oh, they already out at Hobby Lobby in West Virginia. I mean, it's May, so, I mean, it's not that far off. They just want to be prepared. Put a jingle block on the bottom. I mean, I don't think it's going to need anything. I just got to see where it actually touches the plate. Yeah, Americana Crafts, yes. Uh, okay, where are you? Here you are. My E6000. You sit right there. Okay, so. Try to put it where 
it's going to touch. I'm going to have to put some hot glue somewhere, somehow. Let's do this. Let's pull it back. It's not as easy as it looks because I'm trying to get it as far back as I can. But at the same time, all right. And then here goes my A6000. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. But I think I'm gonna try my best to put some hot glue just to see if it'll hold it in place while I mess with it. Cause I don't want it to be all going anywhere, but I just can't be messing with it a lot until that E6000 sets up sometime tomorrow. <laughs> okay. That's, that's good on that side. I just gotta get And of course it's wanting to slide. All right, stay right there. So I think, I think I, the best thing to do was kind of put some on this lip down here. Sorry if I'm missing y'all's comments, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my teacup glued down. Where it won't go anywhere. Until my E6000 decides to um, cause I can cover all that up with flowers to where you won't see any of that. But that E6000 will definitely hold it. If you've never used it before, it will definitely hold it. Oh, you, oh, yeah, to put a bird nest on the top? That would be really cute. Of the teacup? Okay, so I'm just kind of smoothing that out. All right. Y'all know y'all can't see it, but there's glue there by the lip of the glass of the cup. And then there's glue back here, hot glue. So it's kind of there at the moment, but I don't want to... I don't want to move it around too, too much. But I got to get this off the table because y'all know I'll have it all over me before this is over. Because y'all know this just steadily comes out like a, a water spigot. <laughs> Once you open it. Yes, a bird nest in the cup. Yes. Super cute. I could put one. I don't know. Now you'll make me go back and get more teacups. <laughs> so cute. Okay. So there's what we have so far, but I think I'm gonna, um, you know, she's gonna either sit up here or, you know, she can sit on the edge of the saucer. I kind of like her up here because it gives it height, but I think that's super cute. Bird nest in the creamer, yes! Oh, hey, cat, I saw where you wasn't feeling good. Um, I, That was me yesterday, my allergies were out of this world crazy. I see one more spot that needs some flowers. Where's it go? So I'm gonna put some in that spot. So far, I haven't used any moss. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about the moss. Okay. So she can sit right up here, just like this. Moss. Oh, I could put moss on the saucer, but I'm going to put flowers there too. Um, I might put that around the, around the, um, cup where the glue is. Hey, Mary from Alabama. So I'm just going to take some of these and just kind of glue them kind of like they're spilling out of the saucer. Let's see. Let me cut these. Y'all, <laughs> got too much stuff going on. You like her on top of the cup? I do too. I think, I think she'll look better 
sitting up high because it just gives it a little height. And I don't want her to blend in too much with all of this that's going on. I think she'll look better up top. Um, so let me, I'm just cutting some more so I can glue them down here. Cause it looks like they're kind of, they're kind of spilling out or something like that. This glue stick is not wanting to um, start for some reason. Okay, so see, that's what I got so far. Hey, Sheila, you're okay. You know, it's not my night, but I'm here. <laughs> um, uh, let's see what else I got. Get another one of these, maybe. This lavender. Michaels don't tell you what it is. At least Dollar Tree flowers, they tell you on the tag what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Michaels just like, oh, it's just a pick. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Now maybe it's gonna get started. Okay. So see, I'm just kind of sticking them in there, glue strings and all. So cute. Mm. How about that one? Oh, that's kind of big. <clears throat> but now I want to make a, definitely make a bird feeder like we talked about. That'd be super cute with the handle up and it hangs. Now I'm going to have to go back and get some more teacups and saucers. Okay, there's that flower. <laughs> But yeah, I might have to put some moss down here. You don't really see the glue under there. There's a piece of something in there. But you don't really see the glue. Doesn't look that that bad. But look how adorable this is. And y'all see how simple it was. I was like, this is not going to take long at all. That's why I was like, we got to do something else. All right, let me cut these things and well maybe we need some green but this thing looks like broccoli it looks like a piece of broccoli oh it would be a sweet mother's day gift holding an umbrella yes she needs a parasol we made the parasols what week last week week before she might she might have to have a parasol and we learned what parasols different, what the parasol was different than an umbrella. Okay, so cute, look. I just love the colors. It does, Sandy, this would be cute to do with grandkids and um, this is bothering me. And um, do this for Mother's Day or grandparents or something. This would be super, super, super cute and easy. Um, just go get you some teacups or something at the thrift store. Yeah, one of my parasols would be cute. Okay. I need a little bit of green somewhere. Oh, here's a piece of green. Let's make it stick out. You just have to trim it and fix it to how you want it to be. <laughs> Those little bits will be flying all over my room. Needs some green. So it's all kind of hanging off like little leaves. So, so cute. Uh, kind of like this one. So thank y'all for coming on tonight. I know it's not my night, but I wanted to make up for last night because I was feeling poopy. Allergies were kicking my tail last night. Okay. I think that's about enough, don't y'all think? Yes, I did get my hair cut, Miss Jody. I got it cut yesterday, and uh, the whole time I was there, I was sneezing and blowing my nose, and I kept telling her, like, I'm going home, take some Benadryl, and go to bed. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> She's like, well, what are you going to go live tonight? I'm like, uh, I ain't going live like this, because I was just like, 
my eyes were watering and my nose was red and it was horrible. Okay, does it need any of this? I kind of like this yellow thing on here. Yellow looks would look good in there. All right, that was from Michael's too. It needs a little yellow. <laughs> My daisies are all covered up under here. I just realized they need to come out. Get out. Okay, now. There's spider webs, AKA glue strings everywhere. So cute. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's very springy for sure. Okay, now. Here she goes. Mouse, rabbit, whatever she is. But, so, I mean, this is pretty secure, y'all. It's got hot glue, but, the, you know, the E6000 is going to hold it after about 24 hours. But, it's on there. Um, you like my hair? I do, too. It just feels better. I needed a change. But, I put the, the pink in her ears. She had just white ears, and I thought she needed some pink because I was calling her a rabbit. Hey, Janet, I'm doing good. How are you? Hey, Angela. Okay. So, she is gonna just sit her happy self. I don't know. Should she sit like this and I kind of do it to the side so you can tell it's a teacup? Like, well, it'd help if I bent, bent her legs back the way they were because her legs are straight when you buy her. So, I just bent her legs and she's gonna hold a flower maybe. We'll see. So, should I sit her to the side or... So, it's going to be like this. Or sit her face. I got her... Cheryl, she came from Michael's. She is a pick in their Easter floral stuff. Um, it's They say it's a mouse, but we don't know. Her name is Iris. Oh, Carol. I hope you feel good. Feel better. Okay. Yeah, she came from Michael's, but look, isn't she adorable? <laughs> I just want her head, okay, to the side. I want her head to come down. She's like looking like this. We're going to give her a little face, a face down, <laughs> not face lift. <laughs> I got glue on her. Straight, have her stand. I mean, I can make her stand. I can glue her little legs down. Because <laughs> her little legs were straight. Okay. So, she can sit. Okay. So, if I do her straight like that, I think I'm going to have her. Look here, Iris. Her head, she did not. Her, her face lift did not take. <laughs> you sleepy, Carol. <laughs> She needs a bow. Okay, well, we'll have to find something to make a bow with. I don't have anything on this table, but we'll figure out. We put a we put a flower in her hair, up on her ear. Like a little flower. Okay, now, I got her head to stay down, I think. She's looking. She's not doing this anymore. So, I think I'm going to kind of kick her to the side a little bit. All right, let me look at it so I can... Get her foot out here. All right. Are you going to see? I want to see the handle of the teacup. All right. Here we go. There y'all are. Sorry. I don't know if it was me or if it's Facebook. But I don't think it's me. Sorry. Okay. There she is. <laughs> I love her. Sorry, I cut out, but I'm back. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, now she needs a little flower. Yeah, I was freezing up, but I'm back now, so. All right, does she need a little purple something? Okay. She needs a little baby purple flower. Oh, how about these? This. I gotta find her something. Find her some kind of little. I got. I cut this one off, but I don't know. Let's 
see. It kind of looks odd. <laughs> it don't look like, it looks like something's not supposed to be there. I can't find any of these that look halfway right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put a flower in her hand for sure. So, like, see, it just looks like something's not supposed to be there. Like, I don't know. I can't get it to look halfway right. And if I put it in the middle, it's going to look weird. I'll have to make her a bow, maybe. I know, this, this is cute. To be, I mean, it's just a little teacup that, just a little thrift, and then her... And I don't even know how much she was. Look, I, I, I glued her dress down up under her honey. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Iris, you're sitting on your dress. Okay, so she needs a flower. A sweet little daisy. All right, let me find one that's kind of already kind of crooked over. Y'all, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. How stinking cute is this going to be? All right. Glue. Glue. Oh, Iris, you got glue dripping down your dress, baby. I'm sorry. I'm getting it off. Sorry. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How stinking cute is that? <laughs> so cute. And this is so easy, y'all. You saw, I mean, just get you a teacup and a saucer. Don't even have to match. So cute. All right. Just trying to make sure her hands are going to stay together. I got glue on her dress, but I got it off. <laughs> okay. Look at her. <laughs> 45 glue strings. Ugh. Okay. Look how sweet this is. So, yeah, I'll have to make her a little purple bow or something and put on her ears. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Now, who would not like to get this as a Mother's Day gift? This would be perfect. I mean, you could just get a few bundles of flowers, and you probably already have some. Michael's has them on sale. Um, and Dollar Tree has all that out right now. Look how stinking cute, though. And it didn't take much, really. So adorable. She like, he loves me, he loves me not, with her little daisy. Um, Margaret, it came from Michael's, but Michael's calls it a mouse. If you look on the website, they're on the website, but she is a pick. So she had a wire up in her where you could poke her down in like a flower or something. So I took the wire out and, um, but she kept whispering to me in the store that she needed to come home with me. So she came home with me and here she is. And so we named her Iris because, you know, I got to have little names for all of my little, um, my little things. But she is on the website. But it's a but they call her a mouse. Um, but I put the pink in her ears. So she didn't have pink in her ears. You need to make Harriet like that. Isn't it cute? A tiny ladybug on her ear. Oh, good gravy. Here we go. I got some, but I'll have to find them. Because they aren't where... They are not where I can get to them at the moment. They are over here in one of these drawers. But, yes, I got little ladybugs. Look, I just cannot get over. But these would be so cute as gifts, like somebody said, like Mother's Day. This is adorable. You could even make a little sign. This is Happy Mother's Day. All the things. You could write the date or whatever on the bottom of the cup or on the bottom of here. But, y'all... It's so cute. It's the hybrid mouse bunny, Jessica. So cute. Her head, she doesn't want to put her head down, though. She wants to look up like this, and I'm like, no. But she is so cute. I just love it. 
Michael's did your Michael's didn't have any. And you know, it is kind of late for Easter, I guess. And when I went, a lot of it was picked over, but they were in those little baskets on the aisle that has pigs. But you could if you could find another critter or something like that, you could do the same thing. Yeah, she was two forty nine or two ninety nine and then she's like sixty percent off or something. She is so sweet. And Hobby Lobby may have something similar to this. Uh, or Joann's. I was in Joann's too, and I don't remember. I wasn't looking for it though, but you know. But yeah, you could put moss, reindeer moss, the green. That would be pretty. But I don't, I really don't want to cover up a lot of this because I like the florals on the plate and on the saucer. She is so cute. Yeah. Oh, Karen, that would be good as a Mother's Day tea and have a centerpiece. And you could even, okay, we can take it one step further. You could put this on a candlestick. Y'all know you put anything on a candlestick and it just totally elevates the whole thing. Put this on a candlestick base and it would be like a whole little pedestal-like thing. That would be adorable. Now it's like, where is there a candlestick I can reach somewhere? I'm a looking. <laughs> I don't see one anywhere that I can get to. But that would be adorable. If you put her on, like, even the Dollar Tree candlestick, the little glass ones, and you could paint it white. Oh, my goodness. How stinking cute would this be? She is offering up the flower to her mom. Happy Mother's Day. So cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So glad that you wanted to come home with me. Because <laughs> she said, I want to go home with you. <laughs> so cute. I know, I saw that, Faye, and I don't think they're going to close any stores right now, but um, I'm like, oh, please don't, because I love their fabric, and they have the biggest selection of fabric, and I love it. You have four cups in this pattern. Well, Tammy's going to be making turned-over floral cups tonight. Isn't she sweet? I love her. On top of the creamer. Ooh. That was just like made to fit on there. How stinking cute is this? Because now it matches. The creamer has like that sloped top, so it really don't want to see it. Um, yeah, look at this. That's cute. Uh, it's getting better and better. <laughs> see, I need y'all's help too. <laughs> you, can, you can hide some treats down in there and nobody would ever know. <laughs> All your Hershey Kisses could be down in the... Down in there. Nobody would know. <laughs> but look how cute this is. I mean, that kind of elevates it off the table. Like if you were doing it for a centerpiece, like somebody said, for a Mother's Day tea or something like that. That looks so stinking cute. Um, it it does need a bow. She needs a bow in her, on her ear. But I'm not anywhere close to any fabric. Like it's over there. <laughs> I'd have to get up and go all the way around the table to get it. But I will make her one. Yes, Barb, they have teacups and saucers all the time because I see them all the time. Uh, I got it, this one, these at the bin, the Goodwill bins, and so I paid like a quarter a piece for these. And they had the whole set of dishes in there. Like somebody donated the entire set. So anyway, so I'm going to set her back here and now we're going to do something else. Okay. All right. You sit right there. Oh, I got her. I'm scared to death she's gonna fall and break, so I'm not gonna do that to her. She's gonna sit back there and watch. Can y'all see her? Am I covering her up? Can y'all see her? Yeah, I just can't see her in the menagerie of stuff that's back there. It looks like a something exploded. There, Those pics are online too if you can't. Yes, they are online. So if you can't find them, look on their website, but she is listed as a mouse. And they have other little Squirrels, if you saw my video that I posted of my Michael shopping trip, she was in there. Mm. Tina, yes, a crown of little flowers. That is so cute. Okay, we are going to, I'm going to paint this. That's in my shop that I just released it. I'm going to paint him because I cannot wait to paint this. 
<laughs> um, oh, good. Weedy, you got a bunch. That'd be a great way to, um, you know, honor your, your grandmother. Oh, it's Dana on here. Dana, I didn't see you on here. So, I'm going to paint this little guy. Um, if y'all want to hang out, you can. I know some people don't like to watch me paint, and some people do. But I love him, and we are going to put him together. So, if you got the frog, here is your tutorial. So, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. <laughs> this is your back piece. Yay, you want to see the frog painted. Yay, Lyra bought him. He is so cute, y'all. And he is totally put together. He's 10 inches tall because he has a little fly on his eyeball, <laughs> which is so cute. Okay, so I got to figure out what needs to be painted and what doesn't need to be painted because we don't have to paint all of it. Okay, so I need to paint the bottom of the mushroom. I got to paint this. And then the dots, white. So that's what I'm going to start with. I guess I'm just going to put my paint right here on the table. Yay, Brenda! Um, if you want one, they are in my shop. And you can comment shop TTV. And it will give you a link to my shop. You're hanging out for the frog fun. Thank y'all for hanging out with me with when I did Miss Iris back here. Um... I just had to do a craft with her since we had such fun trying to decide if she was a mouse or a bunny. Um, she identifies as a rabbit, a bunny at my house. <laughs> but, uh, cause I made her have pink ears. Cause she has big ears. What big ears you have, Iris? You have frogs everywhere. It's the season. Um, I used to, when I was a little girl, I was kind of a tomboy little girl. And I would, um, I would catch, do the tadpoles, and we would raise them until they turned into frogs and catch tadpoles and all the things. It was so much fun. So, I love, I had a pet turtle, and I had all kinds of things that I used to catch and bring home. So, I'm going to paint my, um, yay, Tina. Yes, you can save it until yours gets there, and you'll know exactly where it is. So I'm going to paint the bottom of my mushroom white and the top of my mushroom is going to be red. I've already decided. <laughs> Annette, some of it is this light. It helps you to look all nice and uh, pretty because <laughs> I do have my wrinkles. I have my, you know, I have all this. Um, but uh, I was telling my, my uh, subscription group Sunday I'm just struggling with trying to find the right foundation. This foundation is probably a shade darker than what I need. But, you know, I'm used to being the 80s girl. I get, I put everything on with my fingers. And then we set everything with powder. And we were like super dry. Well, when you age, your skin gets, is different. You can't do your makeup like you did when you were in your 30s, in your 20s, in your early 40s it just changes and I'm 52 and I'm struggling with what foundation to use Cindy I got it at um it's been months ago though I got it at TJ Maxx believe it or not um the frog saver at the campground <laughs> she gets them off the road so they don't get ran over so I'm painting my spots white and then of course the mushroom's going to be Red, you know, the traditional looking, you know, when you see a mushroom on a TV, on, you know, kids cartoons or something, it's always red and white or the gnomes and all the things. I just like it red. Yes, catching tadpoles and watching them turn into frogs. I think it's just fascinating that they start out that way. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm following this guy on TikTok. And he went to, like, the local pond or something, and he scooped up, like, just handfuls of frog eggs. And he put them in this huge aquarium. So, he's, like, showing you the progress, like, every day he posts another video or every couple days of showing you what they look like today and how big they are and how many there are. And I mean, there's hundreds 
of them. And he's going to have frogs <laughs> coming out everywhere. Um, I'll stop and move them too, Sue. So, um, my daddy used to stop when I was a little girl make me, and, and he would let me get out and go uh, move the turtles. <laughs> like, I don't want them to get ran over. All right, so I'm just painting my little dots because that's all we have to paint on the back layer. So this is the back layer, and that's all we have to paint. So these little lines down here are just showing you where the other little pieces go. Yes, Tina, I just released this set tonight, and we just made a craft, and now we're going to paint this because um, I missed last night, so we're going to do a twofer. Fireflies. We did that too, Judy. Yes. Okay. So that's that layer. That's all we have to have is that. Ow! I just poked me. My grass poked me. So then this layer is going to go next on top. So it's going to look like this. So see, you're going to see the little, the white through the holes. Because that's all going to be covered up. But I am going to paint my little fly. I'm going to paint his wings white while I'm here. I'm going to paint the whole thing white because actually his eyeballs need to be white too. So while I've got the white out, I'm going to paint his wings. That grass poked me. It's pointy. Okay, so there's my little fly. And I'll paint him black in a minute. Okay. Why? His eyeballs have got to be white. So when you get your eyeballs... There's two pieces, and I, and I did it this way. I mean, the file was made this way, but I didn't score it. I did it in cast, and Saint is the best foundation. I'm an artist if you want to reach out. Oh, Amber, is it for mature skin? I've seen a lot of people with Saint, and I've wondered if it was meant for mature skin. Pull their tails off, Cecile. Better not do that. So this way, this is going to make it easier for you to paint your eyes. So I'm gonna paint the outside part white and then the inside part will be black. So you don't have to worry about painting in the lines. Cecile. Okay, Amber, message me, Amber, and we'll, um, I might have to try that too. Cause I have, I have, I'm telling you, I have bought like so many foundations in the past, um, I don't know, several weeks and trying to find the kind of like, you know, they don't want you to be dry anymore. They want you to have this dewy look. Like I look like I'm shining and sweating to death out here and I'm not. Um, oh, here, I'll show you the cup, Glenda. Cause Glenda was with me at the bins when I bought the cup. <laughs> she is my neighbor down the street and I ran into her at the bins so that's why she wants to see it, because she know that I bought it. Isn't it cute? <laughs> oh, Lord. It's so adorable. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, thank you, Glenda. I, yeah, I got it cut yesterday. I saw you yesterday when I was there, and then I went and got my hair cut. I told you that. And after I got to the to my hairdressers, my allergies just went full force. And my little hairdresser, she just handed me the roll of toilet paper. She's like, here, I think you just need the whole roll. <laughs> I'm like, I do. And I pretty much came home and took a ben to Benadryl and went to bed. Okay. I think I got a splinter in my finger now. Okay, so the inside of his little eyes are going to be black. <sighs> now what? Okay, this is going to go here. So, he's going to be green. Green, green, and green. All right. So, I don't have to paint the frog on this part, but I do have to paint the mushroom. So, this is the back piece. Oh, uh, the rabbit. Susan, it came from Michael's, but Michael's calls it a mouse. So, I don't get it, but, you know, she does look like a mouse. She's got a face like a mouse, but her ears are a rabbit. <laughs> but it was a pick. And I pulled the little wire out of the bottom. Okay. I can't, I'm telling you, I can't take me anywhere around paint. All right. Let's do this, because I'm going to end up getting it on my sleeves. I don't get it on my sleeves. <laughs> okay. 
So now I've got to paint him green. Okay. So back piece. This piece goes next. So all we have to paint on this piece is the mushroom. So let's, oh, I gotta paint his legs. Okay, I'm gonna paint that when I paint all of the frog pieces. Yay, you're gonna make one of the little teacups. It's so stinking cute. All right, I'm gonna paint my mushroom. This color is called True Red, and it's very bright. I mean, it's bright. <laughs> so I'm going to, it's, it's like brighter than like candy apple red. I know, Tammy, but when I use the powder, it settles in all my little wrinkles and stuff and I look cakey. Um, so that's my, that's the struggle. But you know, the dewy look is supposed to be everybody's the way you're supposed to look now and not put powder on. And when you get older, you can't put powder on because you get all, um, <laughs> Charlotte, I hear you. I feel like it was melting. When you put powder on, you feel like it's, it's, your face is so dry and you, it wrinkles up and cakes up on your face and <sighs> it's just, just a struggle. All right, so see, here's that red. It's, it's, it's kind of on the orangey side, but it's Deco Art True Red. I wouldn't say it's true red, but it's bright. But it looks like mushroom color. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever color that is. Oh, you're 16, you're having the same problem. Okay, Laura, I have Laura, what's her name? The Baked, I bought that. It's okay. Um, I've only like played with it, so I haven't like put it on them. This is Maybelline. It's in a square bottle. I can't remember what it's called. Maybelline something, but I don't remember what. <laughs> okay, you use Tarte setting powder. I guess you can get tart is at Ulta. Do they sell sell it at Ulta? Cause I've always set my face with powder. I always, always, always. I'm trying to get this all covered. Avon Anu. Yeah, oh Laura, Laura, what's her name? It's it's not Gallagher. It's what is that? I won't cover. Um Laura Geller. Is that her name? That's her name. Oh, she has a cream. Okay. I bought the baked powder that you put on with the big brush, but like I said, I haven't really done a lot with it. All right, there is my mushroom. Maybelline Fit. Um, it's not Fit. It's something else. Maybelline. I don't know. It's in a square bottle with a white top is all I know. I can't remember what it is, but it's actually probably a shade too dark for me right now. Laura Geller, yeah, QVC. I got, I saw it on TikTok is how I saw it. Um, the Laura Geller. Okay, so here's what I got so far. See the little spots are gonna shine through and I'll probably do some other stuff to my mushroom. I'm just gonna let it um, fit super stay in a round glass, the mousse. Okay, so now we're gonna do our little frog. Okay, this I struggled with this because I wasn't sure what color green, because you know, you can do dark green or we could go cute and go bright green. Ulta, order it from their website because they have a great sale and special offer. Okay, yeah, mushrooms are popular this year. And y'all, my little, these little standing mushrooms, I can't wait to paint these either. But they stand on their own. Oh, and they're on my site too. Bright green. I'm thinking too, but like this is like really bright. And then this is a little bit, this is like parakeet kind of, but it's deco art. But then I like this color. I don't know. I might, 
we might have to mix it up maybe a little. I don't know. I kind of like that. Now I'm looking at this. And then, yeah, mix of both greens. Trisha was like, yeah, mix of both greens. That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, but then I have to paint the weeds and stuff down at the bottom a different green. So I'm going to go with, this is called Irish Moss. And then my other choice is Sour Apple by Deco Art. So they're, they're different, but I like this Irish Moss for him. I think it's pretty. It covers... Yeah, do the belly. Good. Karina, that's exactly what I was going to do. I'm going to do the belly a different, maybe a, like, an ombre almost of um, white and green. I'm going to try to do an ombre. Now, I can't promise it'll look right. Not too dark, not too bright. So, Amber, is it hard to get your colors right on Saint? Or is it, I know you do, like, you do dark spots and then you kind of blend it all in. You do like the um, contouring. Sour apple. Now you want a Jolly Rancher. I have a bag of them over there on my table. That's one of the best flavors. Sour apple. See, look how green, look how perfect green that is. This is Irish moss. But we could make him... Um, we could mix the two. Let's see, where's... You use that a lot, Cheryl? It's a pretty color. So is um, Sour Apple. We'll just kind of... Mix, mix it all in. But they're two different colors for sure. I'm not scared. <laughs> I like to mix my colors. People go, what color is that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mixed a bunch of stuff and I don't know. Okay. So there he is. Let's do his legs. He's going to be so cute. Boom by Cindy Joseph for a quick something quick and something never heard of that kind before um i'm a drugstore girl most of the time i mean i used to wear estee lauder double wear and uh i used to wear more norman back in the day and mary Kay. i think i've done all of it mary Kay probably has one too for um mature skin but is she still alive Y'all know Mary Kay, if she's still alive. I mean, not that do y'all know Mary Kay, but y'all know who I'm talking about. The lady that founded Mary Kay, Mary Kay, I guess. So he's, he's like Kermit. He is really green. Thrive. Oh, did she pass away? I wasn't really sure, to be honest. But, um, I used to wear that. But, you know, you just can't wear her. You will always wear a cover girl. You a cover girl. I have cover girl, too. All right, so, there's his belly, and I got to work this out. All right, so, what's going to go on here? Oh, I got to do his legs. Get to hold the ombre off for just a minute. <laughs> Okay. So I'm gonna do his legs. And you don't have to worry about getting it on this piece here because that other piece is gonna go on top. Yeah, her, I mean, she's, this, they're still selling her stuff, but I wasn't sure if she had passed or not. Get his other leg. This is definitely Kermit the Frog Green. He's going to look so, super cute, though. Mac, but I'm having a problem with fine lines. See, Angela, it happens to the best of us, and that's what's going on with me. I just cannot find 
And I'm not super picky either, but you know, when it just doesn't look good on my face. Um, so that this is the back piece. That's all you gotta paint on the back piece. Winnie, what do you mean to all these for all the holidays? I sell lots of kits in my shop. Um but I do holiday stuff, but not the frog. This is the first time I've done him. Okay, so here is his belly. So I'm thinking do white at the top and make it go green. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I can't promise anything, but I'm gonna try. So let's see, let's get white up here. Gotta get some more. Revlon color stay full color in the tube. Okay, so Tracy likes it. But y'all know what I'm saying. It's just like a struggle. It's like all of a sudden, it's just like I can't find what I need. Saint has done well for you, April said. Several pink cat, Several, Janelle, several pink Cadillacs? Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness okay so this is how i'm doing it i'm putting white at the top and green at the bottom and just gonna say a prayer and close and close my eyes no I'm kidding okay diana i have largeller i just got it i got the the baked powder with that kabuki brush or whatever it is thank you crystal yes winnie i have um I'm, i have christmas up on my site right now i'm leaving it up all year but yes okay here we go so, if you do this, you're going to kind of get, and I wanted that blur, that line straight across though, so I'm just going to kind of go up into the white with my green, and then I'm going to just using the green part now, trying to. So his belly's gonna be lighter. Got a piece of gooey something. Oop. That don't look too bad. Isn't that cute? Isn't that pretty? So I just kind of split the sponge and then you just kind of go up and then come back down and kind of get it all blended out. Ooh. Cause I don't want, I didn't want it to be such a drastic. If you mess it up, like I just did, you can just go back and fix it. Okay. So he's gonna be super cute. But his belly looks Okay, so this is what he looks like so far. Isn't he cute? It's not too difficult to paint. I, pro I promise it's not. Um, it's just you've got a back piece and then you have um, the, a next piece and the next piece. It's not. It's not hard at all. Goodness, Lord. Sit when you mix the paint up like I just did. And got to paint his leg again. Because we can't have one leg lighter than the other. Okay. There he is. Alright. Even your red blotches. We need, um, there, it's just regular craft paint that you can get at Walmart. You can get Apple Barrel paint. You can get Hobby Lobby paint. And these are just makeup sponges, but you can use a brush. Okay, so his little belly is, um, looks good, but I'm going to add and kind of get it darker at the bottom because to match him. Ooh, y'all. I gotta quit messing with it. More mess with it, the worse it gets. Okay. See, I still see that line when I hold it up. Okay. Don't look too bad. So you can do it. 
if I can do it, I know you can. All right, so we got that. And actually, it doesn't go on that piece. It goes on this piece. All right, so this is the back piece. You paint his legs, the dots, and the trunk, <laughs> the stem of the mushroom. And then on the second piece, you're going to paint the mushroom top. It's going to be like this. And then the third layer, you're going to put paint the frog face and his legs and his belly. And we're just about ready to put this thing together. All right, let me paint my fly. This is the fly, and it goes up on his eyeball. And then we got to paint his eyeballs black. I know, it's looking good. I love the green and the red contrast. I think that's really looks really good. All right, so I'm just gonna take my corner of my makeup sponge and paint the inside of his, of his eyeballs. Okay. Thank y'all for staying on and watching me paint this little guy. I was so excited to paint him. He is adorable. Yikes. Okay, so there's my, this is my little fly, and I might, might have to get a paintbrush, but I'm going to try to just to use my little sponge. And I'm going to have to use a tiny, tiny, tiny paintbrush. I'm trying not to melt something with my glue gun. I'm going to use my, hey, Hazel, the deco art, yes. So, I use Irish Moss, and you can get it at Hobby Lobby, and then I did a little bit of sour apple and kind of just mingled them together, and now I'm going to use my little um, marker, or you can use a Sharpie, and do the little fly eyeballs. <laughs> Isn't it cute? But what I'm going to do to my fly, this is Extreme Glitter Hologram by Folk Art. I'm going to paint my fly's wings because then they're going to be like sparkly. Sparkly when they dry. It's white, but it's going to dry with just glitter. I got way too much. So hopefully it'll dry before we get off and y'all can see how it looks. It's going to give it like a little iridescent look like it's wings. Like his little shiny wings. Maybe you can see it on camera. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. <laughs> so I'm going to just take my little pokey tool and I just drag out those little lines in his wings. I don't know. Y'all probably can't see it, but they are going to be glittery. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so now we get to paint the grass. So there's there's two layers of grass. Like this piece has two layers. And then this piece has two layers. And you'll know because it's got lines down here on the that show you where to put it. Um, Jane, so I painted a white and then I painted now the, you can only buy this at Walmart. It's Folk Art Extreme Glitter, and it comes in red, blue, black, pink, and they're all good. Um, this is called Hologram, but it only they only sell it at Walmart. I don't know. <laughs> I do not know why. Okay, so since he's bright green, I'm going to do my grass in like a dark green. And I might even, this green, this is crocodile. I don't know. I just picked out some darker greens. Because I don't want it to be the same color he is. That makes sense. Y'all know, I don't want it to look. And this is folk art. And y'all know, it's so, so thick. Oh, 
goodness. All right. But it's a pretty, like, olive green. All righty. Let's use this. So you've got this kind of grass, and then you've got the spiky grass, which doesn't matter what you paint it, whichever one, but I'm going to paint... my spiky grass, the brighter green, Kelly green is by Apple Barrel, is what I'm using. What was that? <laughs> so that's what, um, my, my spiky grass. Whatever, I don't know, just spiky. <laughs> that's the best way I know how to describe it is the spiky grass. And then this piece over here has spiky grass too. But it shows you right here on the piece exactly where to put it. And it's okay if you get it on the other grass because we're going to cover that up with that piece. He is so cute. I think that color was perfect for him. Dorothy's going to come in tomorrow and be like, I want to see the frog. Because <laughs> it's funny, we cut lots and lots and lots of these kits. And, you know, when you see it painted, it just, I don't know. It's a whole nother level after you see it when it's been painted. And we've looked at them and looked at them and looked at them for a while. But painting it's a whole nother thing. And then everybody's looks different because you're going to use different colors than I used. And it just makes, they're all going to be different. Depending on the colors you use. And some people will do the shading and stuff and it looks really good. All right, there's my tall grass, whatever kind of grass that is. Hey, Catherine, hello. So you just have to paint the pieces that are loose because it's going to glue on top of that and we're not going to see that one so we don't have to paint it. All right. And his stand. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint it this same like olive green, like he's in a swamp with a mushroom. Do mushrooms grow in swamps? They're fungus, I figure they do. I like that it's three dimensional too. It's super cute. And the little fly on his head just makes all the, makes it all so much cuter. So there's my stand. All right, so this goes here. Uh, I see a spot that needs some green paint. So you have to kind of, so this piece goes on top of this piece and you're gonna know gonna go just like that so see the different colors that's why I wanted it two different colors yeah you love the fly I do too hey Cindy and then this piece goes on top of this one okay like that all right so now and I want to see if y'all can see this glitter probably can't see it but it is iridescent looking Blue green looking glittery. But y'all can't see it on camera. What color green is the frog? He is mostly Irish moss by Deco Art. And I did pounce in a little bit of sour apple. Um, but he's mainly this color. He looks like Kermit. <laughs> um, okay, so now I think we're ready to glue him together. Okay, so let me get all my pieces off. There's this little head. All right, 
So I'm gonna go over it again. So you got the back piece, okay? Legs, dots, and the trunk. That's all you had to paint. Then this is the next piece. All we had to paint was the mushroom top. Get all the stuff out of there. Now, where is my glue? Here, no, that's not it. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it doesn't. Glitter never shows up on camera. I don't know why, but it does not. So this is my stick fast, or you can use super glue. Whatever you want to use, wood glue will work because this is real wood. Um, but that's what I use if you want to screenshot that. I got it on Amazon. I just thought about my elbow. I'm like, I hope my elbow's not in the in the paint. Okay. So you just kind of use your fingers, line it up, get it flush. You know, all the get it flush with each other. And then just kind of sit here and let it set up. It only takes a, just a minute or so. And we are this close to being done. So y'all can see him. He's going to be super cute. Okay. Now we're going to glue his head on. Not the fly just yet. See, that's where the fly is going to go. But I didn't have to paint that because it's going to be uh, covered up by the actual fly itself. So just put glue and then just kind of hold it there. I love the stick fast way better um, than the super glue. This is a 4.5 ounce bottle. And that's how much I have. Let's see, let me hold it level. That's how much I have in it. And I've been using this for quite a while. Um, you like watching me paint, Lyra? <laughs> okay, so now we have his legs and his belly. So what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna get it all lined up. See, when you put them together, they fit like a puzzle. Like they fit real close together. And I'm gonna use my fingers and kind of get it flush. And then I'm gonna take off one leg at a time and just put a little glue. Glue it right in place. 16 ounce. I think it was $16. Maybe that's where you're getting the 16, Tammy. I don't know. But no, it's 4.5 ounce. Okay, so now I'm going to glue his underbelly or his belly or whatever you call it. Just put that right there in place. And then I'm going to put some on his other leg. Oh my goodness, he looks super cute. That's probably where you, yeah, that's probably it. I guarantee you that's where he got it from. All right, so here's what we got so far. He's looking cute. Um, so now we're going to do his eyes. So his eyes have the round white. And then the black centers, you're going to do it separate. That was just so it's easier to paint. So I'm going to turn him this way because there are circles here that help you know where to put his eyes. Um, so I'm going to set that down like that. I think the stick fast holds better than super glue. But I mean, I've used super glue as well, but I love this stuff. There's one eye, or well, part of an eye. And I mean, it holds really fast. Like, you gotta pay attention to where you're putting his little, the whites of his eyes. You'll, you'll see when I hold him up, you'll see. So now I'm just dropping that little black piece in there. Oh, he just comes to life. Aloha, Donna. Thought that was going to say Hawaii for a second, but then it said West Virginia. <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. There he is so far. Look how cute. And you could point his eyeballs any way you want him to, do, to be. Um, super cute. All right, here goes the fly. Sitting up on his eye. 
The fly on his eye. Y'all was a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> hey, Norma. Thank you, Kay. He's so cute. Okay. There he is. All right, there's the fly with his glittery wings. Y'all can't see. Look how stinking adorable. Okay. So now the next pieces are the pokey grass, the spiky grass pieces. And you're going to know where it goes because you've got all these little lines down here that show you where it goes. Um, and all you have to do basically is line it up the pokey grass or sticky grass or spiky grass or whatever. You'll see with the base piece. So you line this up with this piece. The one that stuck me while I go. <laughs> okay. Same on this side. Whoop. Hey, Kathy. He needs a tongue. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting that fly on his eyeball. All right. And then we have the double grass. And you'll know where it goes because it only can go one place. Okay. Super cute. It's got all these layers. It makes it look so 3D. He's just stinking adorable. All right, now. Look how stinking cute this is. Okay, but I think I'm going to, let me put his little stand on. Okay, I was gonna put um, there he is. I thought about, let's do this. Y'all know as bad as I hate to do it. What if I put some kind of, yeah, Sonia, I made this to start with. This is what we made first. Isn't she fresh? Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And then I'm painting one of my sets that I just released. Um, look how cute. <laughs> I think I'm going to put some moss moss, real moss, down here at the bottom. Just to kind of, like, give it this little extra something something down at the bottom. You definitely don't have to do this, but I think it's just going to add... Get that big old piece of something sticking off there. Um, it's just kind of going to add to the texture and the cuteness of it. Give it a little bit of texture at the bottom like he's in the swamp. All right, come on. This stuff is wild. <laughs> and it goes everywhere. Y'all know I have this thing about moss. I love the way it looks, but it's a, it's a hot mess. But it does add to your piece. All right, you stay right there. Look at, see? Isn't that cute? Yeah, I'll do the bee kits too, live. I'll probably paint them live. He looks like Kermit, doesn't he? But he is so stinking cute. I can't, I just can't help it. Let me get rid of all this. All right, let me see. I'm going to add, put that top back on that stuff before it dries out. I am going to put, he's got like little dots on his face. And I could do them green, but I think I'm just going to fill them in with black. I don't know if I could paint them that small with a brush. So see, he's got like little dots on his face. Aren't they cute? Look 
fill that in. And I could do his mouth. I just got to hold my mouth right. Hold my breath. Okay, there's his mouth. Isn't it fresh? I, they're like little spots or something. I don't know. You know how they have those spots? I guess they could be warts if you wanted to. Isn't he cute? He is just precious. Precious, precious. All right, what, is it, what does it need now? Let's get the white one out. He's in love with my green frog. Um... Y'all know I like to add all these little little accent lines here and there. Just put some on the mushroom. Mm. See if he needs any more. Alright, just put a few little white lines on him just to kind of give it a little accent. Oh, yeah, Deborah, I'll show it again. So super cute. Ain't he precious? I'll show you. Oh, knocking stuff down. And I'll post a picture of this, too, tomorrow so y'all can see. But look how adorable she is. She came from Michael's. She is a mouse. But I say she's a rabbit. <laughs> but on the website, she is a mouse. But she was a pick, okay? So imagine she has a little wire. So, you know, don't be looking for just her. But she is a pick in the, like, uh, the f Easter floral stuff. And then I glued her hands together and put a flower in her hands. So she didn't have the flower. Let's see, let's see, it should keep. Red dots on white spots on the mushroom. Red dots on white spots. Red dots on white spots. Maybe I should put some smaller spots, like here and there. I just put some white spots on there. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I love him. Now I can't wait to do the B one. Here's the B one. So this is what he looks like. And it's amazing what a little paint can do. So cute. All right, stand up. There we go. And then the B one, I'll have to do it next. Yeah, he needs a red tongue for sure. Look how cute. <laughs> so cute. Hey, Karen. Adorable. Buzz, buzz, buzz. So anyway, and look, look at these bees. <laughs> My little bee magnets, aren't they cute? They have shiny wings too. See, they got a magnet on the back, but they have little, um, they have iridescent wings too, like the, like his little fly has. Where is he? Right here. Put a pom-pom on the back of her dress and make her a little more like a rabbit. Yeah, she needs a little, a tail. She needs a tail, but I don't, you can't see the glitter, but it's really pretty iridescent. That bee. I <laughs> know. Pretty cute. He's cute. He's so cute. You need the bees, Angela. They're on my shop. I paint. There's ten sets of them up there. I painted bees and I painted all these dots until I was seeing spots on those bees. Um, I love making those little things. Though. They're so fun. But anyway, so that's what that's what he looks like. And then this is what Iris looks like. So we did two totally different projects tonight. But I definitely, I was, couldn't wait to paint one of these. And I know if I painted it by myself, I needed to show y'all how to do it. So here we were. So yes, look. <laughs> she is all sassy. She has her own little pedestal now. She is all her, in her element. <laughs> but anyway, so if you want one of these, they are in my shop. If you want to do your own. Um, and you can comment shop TTV. And it will send you a link to your inbox to my shop. And thank y'all so much for being on tonight and on my not normal night. And y'all watching Iris, <laughs> especially. Um, 
Oh, thank you, Dana. You're so sweet. But I appreciate y'all being here. But look how cute. Look at that moss. Look what that moss makes that look like. It looks just adds a little something to it to me. I think it looks really cute. Iris. <laughs> y'all need an iris. They have them at Michael's. Now I wish I would have bought more irises. Melissa, I, I don't even remember to be honest. Did I paint the clear, clear crystals white? Oh, no. I paint them whatever color that I do them. But it takes a bunch of coats. So each one of these probably has four or five base coats before I ever dot on them. And it takes a while. They are a lot of steps to paint these little bugs. <laughs> paint it dry, paint it dry, paint it dry, paint it dry. And then you paint the dots, they dry. Paint the eyes, they dry. Then the inside of the eyes, they have to dry. Then the dot on the inside of the eye, it has to dry. Then the wings. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a lot of little steps. So, anyway, so they're in my shop, too. But I love painting them. But thank y'all for being here. I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting my page and my small business. I couldn't thank you enough. And I will see y'all in two nights. So, I'll see y'all Thursday night. Have a good rest of the week. Until Thursday, guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye.